Arte Cosplay es una exhibición de fotos y de trajes que tienen que ver con el cosplay. La idea de esta exhibición es mostrar el cosplay como arte, que es lo que considero yo. Eh, mi trabajo es hacer fotógrafo, viajo alrededor del mundo yendo a diferentes convenciones y lo que hago es bueno, tomar fotografías y ver lo, de qué se trata el cosplay en cada lugar y, y cómo es todo lo que tiene que ver con la comunidad. Yo comencé hace muchísimo tiempo ya, en el 97, eh, hacía revistas de videojuegos y obviamente concurría a convenciones que tenían que ver con videojuegos o las de cómic, como puede ser Fanta Baires, bueno, de las primeras que hubo acá en Argentina. Veía las fotos que tomaba gente que se dedicaba específicamente al cosplay y decidí como dedicarle un buen tiempo a todo esto porque más que nada lo que me pasaba era que yo veía los trajes y no entendía cómo los hacían me enteré que la gente hacía cada uno de sus trajes y eso fue también un poquito lo que me motivó a empezar a sacar fotografías y contar un poco y mostrar lo que se hace I started doing cosplay about over 10 years ago now a little over 10 years ago um, and I didn't even know it was cosplay and what it was called at the time I just liked dressing up as my favorite superheroes and then I found the community and the culture and I've been in love ever since. When it comes to cosplay, I've actually never competed or anything like that. Really for me, it's about uh, the, the sort of fantasy fulfillment of being a superhero because who doesn't want to be a superhero? Uh, and also I love making things and cosplay is a way for me to constantly challenge myself so I could be learning how to work with leather or, or make weapons and props and use resin and jewelry making and hairstyling and Really, there's no end to the skills you can learn when you cosplay. I have two favorite characters, uh, Lara Croft and Wonder Woman. So uh, Lara Croft actually introduced me to the world of comics when I started reading the Top Cow Tomb Raider comics. And then I realized there's this huge world of, of comics and these amazing characters and, and became a huge fan of Wonder Woman as well. So they both inspire me greatly. One of the characters that I spent the most money on making a costume was definitely Gabrielle Belmont. So it's a female version of, of uh, Gabriel from Lords of Shadow. And it was a very challenging and expensive costume because I decided to work with leather and, and different resins and so on. And I made a couple of mistakes along the way, which also made it more pricey. But I think it was totally worth it. And I learned a lot of new skills. Spent about a thousand US dollars on that costume, which is very high. Um, it's definitely easier to keep costs down now with things like EVA foam. And that's something that I try to be more economical about in the future. But every once in a while, you just get one costume that you're just, I'm all in on, you know.